I have here a physical machine with four processors and Visual Studio, and I can command prompts from which I can start it, and Process Explorer from which I can see the amount of CPU being used. And you can see that it takes about about 25 percent of four processors with four processors. So that's about one full processor, and it takes about two or three seconds to start. I'm going to do it a few times. You can see it's pretty fast, two or three seconds. So now I'm going to push this button, which will flush the entire OS cache, which takes a while. So I'll edit out the. Okay, now that we've flushed the OS cache, everything's going to take a lot longer. So if I hit, and you can see that, I can hit Visual Studio, try and start it. It takes a much longer time just to hit, for the command prompt to start the process here. And it took, let's say it started around 9, 12 seconds so after. So here it's 15. It's already been 4, 5, 6, 7 seconds, and we don't even see the splash screen yet. So you can see that it's quite a bit slower. The CPU is pretty anemic, just sitting there waiting and waiting. So just waiting for that disk, which is much, much slower. Okay, here's our splash screen. That took a while. And then we can see that CPU is getting a little higher because there's, oh, it went down. Oh, oh we got something here. And it looks like it's going to end about 12. It's about 30 seconds, 33 seconds already. Okay, so we're about 35 seconds, 40 seconds. Pretty, pretty amazing, huh? So I'll just close this guy. And I'll start it again. But this time we'll see it's going to be much faster because the, the cache has been filled. Okay, that's the end of the demo.